Well, it is a staple of summer barbecues and the state fair, delicious Minnesota corn. And lots of it is grown at farms less than an hour away from the cities. But how fresh is it when it gets to the stores? Good question. Heather joins us right now. So we're in prime season right yeah. now. Oh, we are. You, yeah. Have you had some good ones this summer? A couple of them. Great. Great. Yep. So we started seeing Minnesota corn in stores in mid to late July. But anything before that time, there's a good chance your corn was from Indiana, even earlier than that in the year, from Florida or Georgia. But this time of year, our farmers and our stores know we like it fresh, so it's coming in every single day. So tell me about Minnesota corn. Mm -hmm. No, it's available. It just kind of pops. It seems really fresh. It just is what summer's all about for us and our family. Lunds and Byerly's, like most grocery stores, make it a point to tell you when their corn is local. When people see fresh local Minnesota corn in a grocery store, how fresh is it? It can be anywhere. It just depends. Eric Nathy is with Riverside Farms in Elk River. If the farmer's bringing it right to the store, it can be a couple hours. At the oldest, maybe it's going to be two days. There are five or six big corn growers in the metro area. At Riverside, they usually start picking each day just after 6 a.m. By late morning, it's in the cooler. By cooling it down, you lock in all the sugars. And on a truck to a store or wholesaler by that afternoon, evening, or the next morning. So in a lot of cases, you may pick it at 7 a.m., and it might be in the store 7 a.m. the next day. It very well could be, yes. Wow, that's awesome. Many local grocery stores get summer corn delivery six or seven days a week. Can you taste the difference between corn you just picked and corn that's in the store? I think so. Probably not. I don't know. Myself? Yeah, I could probably tell you the difference. What is the difference in your opinion? The sweetness of it, the pop. When you bite into it, it just kind of pops. If I want corn at night, I go to the field. I grab two, three years, and I go home. We don't all have that we, luxury. We, we don't all have that luxury, no. No, we don't, but we can get pretty darn close in the summertime. No, the same story, similar timeline for local veggies like peppers, cucumbers, zucchinis, watermelon, cantaloupes, and for the non-local stuff, stuff like broccoli, it could take closer to three to four uh, days with travel time. Same thing goes for a lot of these veggies in the winter time. It's a great time of year. It Isn't really it? is. Yeah. And there's nothing better than yeah, that. Yeah, it all tastes really that good. Butter and salt. You don't even need it sometimes, though. That's true. Right. All right. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you, Heather. If you have a good question for Heather, email it by going to wcco.com slash links.